Hello, my name is Katie Mickey and I'm here, director of the Santa Barbara Body Therapy Institute and instructor for our upcoming reflexology and stress management class. And I'm here with Laura and I'm specifically um, warming up her foot with some foot warm-ups and uh, my intention is to show you um, a little bit of foot reflexology the very first bodywork modality that I ever learned and I've been practicing nonstop for the last 30 years and, and continue to be um, very inspired with um, what it can do when I work with people with this technique and, um, and even more inspired when I see students learning the technique. So, we're designed to diaphragmatically breathe, to re-establish our relaxation tonus level and our musculature and make the shift into the rest, digest, and relax mode. And um, one way that we can support that diaphragmatic breathing shift is through the stimulation of the points on the feet. There are reflexes on the feet that um, send energy, nerve impulses, blood flow, and everything to the diaphragm. And if we look at um, Laura's breathing, as I've been working, focused right here in the reflex for her diaphragm, which is right in between the ball of her foot and the arch of the foot, there is this demarcation between the red skin and the white skin. We call that the diaphragm line, which specifically correlates to this part of her body, the um, bridge between her thorax and her abdomen. If you take a look at her, her abdomen, you see a nice deep belly breath, which has been growing aggressively as I've been working on her. And it's happening involuntarily. She's not even consciously attempting to do it. It's just a, the way the body is designed to reestablish balance when it's given the appropriate stimulation. So one of the cool things about reflexology is that we can affect changes in the physiology, profound healing changes in the physiology at a distance. Without having to work directly on the tissue that we're wanting to affect change, we can, um, and we can affect a healing response by simply pressing and reflexing the feet. So, Within our reflexology class, we're going to learn about the 10 zones that flow up the body. So the foot is, um, provides a map for the whole body through these 10 zones. And they have um, in a, a, a beginning point with each of the toes. And um, so as I work the feet, um, I am sending impulses of electromagnetic energy on at the body to affect change and balance and um, nerve impulses, energy flow, blood flow, um, the mechanisms that the body uses to restore balance and for tissue repair and healing. And so the beauty of the reflexology is that it's very simple. I just have a foot to work on and yet I can create effect a change in the whole body. And I can affect a positive change that supports um, my partner in having a more effective response to stress where she shifts into the relaxation mode. I can also support my partner in having um, access to deep pain relief. It all depends on how I press, what type of pressure that I use. If I want to use deep sustained pressure, then I'm um, affecting a uh, powerful impulse of pain blocking mechanisms to the um, area that I'm reflexing. And, um, and it has a, a, a more of a, sed, a sed, sedation effect on the person that I'm working with. So we're going to get into these um, refinements um, to the reflexology um, protocol within the class. Um, but for all of you who are watching here on the video, I encourage you to uh, offer to uh, give, um, a, give, a, give a whirl on, on simply relaxing your partner's diaphragm by pressing and rocking and reflexing this area. 
And notice what happens as they um, begin to shift their diaphragmatic breathing, and notice what happens um, in their whole overall state of rest and relaxation. Peace and ease be with you. I look forward to having you join us in one of our upcoming classes. Thank you. Hello, I'm Laura. I'm a massage therapist, and I'm in the Thousand uh, Hour Program. And um, I've loved taking reflexology. It's so inclusive, and I use it as a massage therapist at Massage Envy. I have clients that come in that want maybe a couple minutes of reflexology, but when I end up doing more, they're like, why did you stop? Why did you stop? And it's what I love about it is that it's you can use it on people who are sick in which you wouldn't be able to do any kind of uh, Swedish on them or anything like that. You can do it for fevers. You can do it for people who have something that's transmissible. It's, um, I, I just love how um, it everything connects to to your to your body through your feet. And I actually had a client when uh, when I was working a couple days ago, uh, where I was reflexing up on her diaphragm. She said that she felt something in in her diaphragm when I was working on it, and she was very receptive to all the points on her feet. And then that way, I was able to make the session more complete and more more personal to her. And this this modality really has been one of the, the most useful modalities that I've, I've ever used aside from Swedish. That is, it's multifunctional and you, you're not just bound to only just press points on the feet. You can assess how, how the person's feeling just through how their feet are. And uh, someone once told me a long time ago is happy feet equal happy body. So if your feet are in good condition and they're, they're moving well, then the rest of your body is going to respond too.